Joining us now, member of the Select Committee on Intelligence, Democratic Congressman Jim Himes of Connecticut. Good to have you on the show this morning. Good morning. Your reaction to the strikes? Well, you know, I take a little bit of issue that this doesn't happen in a vacuum. I think part of the reason you're seeing bipartisan support for this is that um, it does at least two things. Number one, uh, it takes away a lot of machinery of death from a very, very bad guy. And, you know, there's a lot of people who will be alive six months from now that wouldn't have otherwise had this not happened. I don't think it in any, in any way, shape, or form changes the strategic chess game. I, you know, the Russians, I agree, probably uh, don't care too much about this. I don't think the the Iranians act. But look, there's at least two deep questions that Americans need to ask themselves this morning. Number one, this is yet another military action by a president in a situation where we were not attacked that was not authorized by the Congress of the United States. And as, as a member of Congress, I have to say there's a reason that our founding fathers said that con Congress should be consulted. It gets the American people behind an action. It, it creates some deliberation. The other question that we really need to ask ourselves, and I think most people think, that this action last night probably will not draw us in further. It probably will keep a bunch of Syrians alive. But here we have a president who used to be a profound isolationist who is now acting as a, as a global policeman. And so I think as Americans we have to ask ourselves, well, what about tomorrow when some other dictator in the Middle East does something truly awful? Are we compelled to act there? How do well, we so, think so about that? So, Congressman, do you support what he did last night or not? You know, I, I like everything else in the Middle East. Uh, there's 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 good and there's bad. Here, right. uh, I, I think the I think what he did was proportional. I think it doesn't change the chessboard. It's hard to say that this was a mistake. But again, like everything else in the Middle East, we could two weeks from now be scratching our heads on some deeper issues. Well, of course. But but do you support the president's action last night, or do you oppose the president's action last night? I I, I don't mind that he took the action that he did. When does I, when that I, mean when that I think <laughs> does, Jim does. Does that mean you support it? <laughs> he accepts it. I, no, I, I, again, I accept it. I, I, I think it's important that Assad get the message, and frankly, that others get the message around the world that when they step over a line into the use of unconventional weapons, that they are taking a very significant risk. Somebody right, uh, might take away their air force. I don't think let, that's a bad message to send. Okay, let's move. Let's move to. Uh, I was going to say the Very other measured. big news of the day. There was actually about 87 huge I know. stories where, yesterday. Where do you want to go? So we'll pick the big one Spin that the wheel. broke at like 11:43. Uh, Nunes, uh, chairman of your committee, decided to step down from the Russian investigation, at least for now. Uh, tell us how that went down, and were you surprised? Yeah, it feels like 100 years ago now, doesn't it, even though it was 24 wow. hours ago. Um, you know, I think that was a good thing, um, and a lot of us have uh, a lot of confidence in Congressman uh, Mike Conaway. Uh, I work very closely with Tom Rooney, who will be assisting him. Uh, you know, uh, the behavior of Chairman Nunes over the last couple of weeks was uh, at best puzzling, and uh, even though internally we were making progress on the investigation as Chairman Nunes went on those many trips to the White House and did all that that stuff. Uh, I do think that, that having Mike Conaway uh, at the head of this investigation now really will give some confidence to the American people that the head of the investigation is not being torn between investigating and doing the work of the, uh, uh, of the White House. So you believe that the House Intel Committee can now do its job fairly? I do. Okay, great. All right, thank you so much, Congressman Jim Himes. Wow. Always good to see Thanks, you. Jeff. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.